Those who profess to favor freedom and yet depreciate agitation are people who want crops without plowing the ground. They want rain without thunder and lightning. They want the ocean without the roar of its many waters. The struggle may be a moral one, or it may be a physical one, or it may be both, but it must be a struggle. Power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did, it never will. Find out just what a people will submit to, and you will find the exact amount of freedom and injustice which will be imposed upon them. This will only change through words or with blows or both. The limits of tyrants are prescribed by the endurance of those whom they oppress. The person who takes it upon himself to make a mission of stopping evil with violence without the authorization of the governing authorities is in practice usurping the authorities that God has established and as such this is an evil. Thus in general vigilantism is an evil because it is rebellion against or at least lack of submission to God's ordained authority structure. The one who thinks that Christians should suddenly take up arms to go out and do the job of the governing authorities without being imputed said authority is either ignorant of or purposefully suppressing the truth of scripture. <laughs>